And then the last part of this part number really is the gauge options. And there's a bunch of different gauge options that you can add uh, to an EA series gauge. These are some of the, the ones that we offer. You'll see a W, which is a pre-attached terminal. Uh, the next one is E, which means an encapsulating film over top of the strain gauge to help it protect it. Next one is an option SE, which is a solder dot and encapsulation. So it's got the protective film and some small solder dots on it. Uh, then we've got the option L, which is pre-attached ribbon lead wires. And then an option LE, which is pre-attached ribbon lead wires and an encapsulation. So the grid is fully protected with small copper ribbon leads. Uh, we see those used a lot of times whenever you're putting gauges on materials that are not very good conductors of heat, like composites, and you really don't want to solder onto a strain gauge on a composite unless you have to. If you can get a gauge that's got some of these leads on it, then it really helps to eliminate that potential risk of damaging the strain gauge or the adhesive or potentially the composite or plastic by putting these small leads on it. A couple of other options too, which are the option P and P2, actually add on 10 feet of cable. So really there's no soldering at all. You get the gauge with 10 feet of wire on it. As long as that's long enough to connect back over to your instrumentation, you've got essentially a complete installation once you get the gauge bonded in place and get some environmental coating over top of it, you're effectively done and ready to start testing. And that really brings me to the end of strain gauge selection. I appreciate you taking the time to spend a few minutes and talk about it and go through these slides. If you have questions about strain gauge selection, I encourage you to reach out to our applications engineers. You can reach them by dialing 919-365-3800 and then follow the prompts to applications engineering. Or you can visit our website. We have a technical note dedicated to strain gauge selection is TN-505 and it will step you right through how to go about selecting a gauge and that website is www.micro-measurements.com. Thank you.